Ever feel like the profit and loss statement is a maze of numbers and you get exhausted by just looking at it? In this video, you will learn how to read a PL and analyze it using seven key performance indicators. So why is the PL always the star of monthly reviews? It's simple. It paints a picture of what your company earned and how it was spent over time. There's a hidden formula in plain sight within the PL. Once you learn it, it becomes a lot easier to understand it. Here's your golden formula. Net income is equal to revenues plus gains minus expenses plus losses. Looks simple, right? Let's unpack it to help you become a finance pro by the end of this video. By the way, if you don't know me yet, I am Nathan Liao, AKA CMA coach. I help accounting and finance professionals pass the CMA exam in 16 weeks and on the first attempt. Start by downloading my free CMA exam cheat sheet. The link is in the description. Revenue is the money you've earned before deducting any costs. Think sales like products from computers, cars, coffee, or services like consulting, bookkeeping, or tax preparation. Cost of goods sold are the direct cost involved in producing or servicing whatever you sell. Be it software for your bookkeeping business, payroll for your tax consulting services, or if you sell a product, the coffee beans to make your coffee, for example. So subtract your cost of goods sold from the revenue. What you get is your gross profit. Operating expenses are the costs to run your business day to day. Think of salaries, rent, marketing expenses, so on and so forth. So take your gross profit and subtract operating expenses. This gives you the core profitability from main operations or operating profit. This is your bottom line. After all expenses are deducted, including taxes, what's left? That's your net profit or net loss if you spent more than you earned. So who would ask you for help with PL analysis? First of all is management. They analyze performance and strategize to ensure the business is profitable and continues to grow. Second are investors. They decide if your business will provide adequate returns for their invested capital. Number three are creditors. They assess your risk and decide whether to lend you money or not. But remember that PL isn't just cold, hard numbers. It's a tale, a narrative of how your business performed over time. Have you read or analyzed a PL before? Let me know in the comments with a yes or a no. I would love to know. Now that you know the basics, you are ready for the juicy part seven key performance indicators or KPIs derived from the PNL to make you as skilled as your CFO. Let's start with number one, gross profit margin. The formula is gross profit divided by sales. It represents the percent of total sales revenue that exceeds the cost of goods sold. It measures how efficiently a company is producing its goods or services. Number two, operating profit margin. The formula is operating profit divided by sales. It measures the operational efficiency of a business. Number three, net profit margin. And the formula is net profit divided by sales. This ratio indicates how much of each dollar of sales is left over after all expenses are deducted. Number four, interest coverage ratio. The formula is operating income or EBIT divided by interest expense. EBIT stands for earnings before interest and taxes, and it assesses a company's ability to handle its outstanding debt. A higher ratio indicates a greater ability to cover interest payments. The PNL is just one of many topics covered on the CMA exam. Get started today by downloading my free CMA exam cheat sheet in PDF format. It's packed with the nine best strategies to ace the exam 
and the link is in the description. Next is the contribution margin ratio. The formula is sales less variable costs divided by sales. It tells how much contribution meaning revenue less variable cost a company makes for every dollar of sales. It's a crucial ratio to understand how much remains to cover fixed cost and profit. Number six, operating leverage. And the formula is contribution margin divided by net operating income. It quantifies the sensitivity of operating income to changes in revenue. Number seven, sales growth rate. And the formula is sales this period less sales last period divided by sales last period. It shows the percentage increase or decrease in sales over a specific period, indicating a company's growth trajectory. Master these seven KPIs, understand your PNL, and you'll be confident in any company meeting ready to provide insights most people don't know how to calculate. The profit and loss statement is one of several reports that are completed during the month and close. If this process stresses you out, watch this next video to discover 10 strategies that trimmed my month and close time from 14 days to just five.